Hello and welcome to today's reflection for the Preston Ribble Circuit. I will be using the Methodist Prayer Handbook as a guide, um, something which is a brilliant resource and there'll be a new one coming out soon. Uh, so today we are looking at day 30 and I'm just going to open with a quick prayer which was written by Miles Coverdale who lived between 1488 and 1568. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, draw our hearts to yours with a love that is irresistible. Unite our hearts to yours with a love that is immeasurable and bind our hearts to yours with a love that is inseparable now and forever. Amen. So, Today's lectionary reading is from John chapter 5 verses 1 to 18. I won't be reading the whole passage, I'll just be reading a few verses. I'll be reading from verse 5. There was a man who had been there in the same st sick state for 38 years. Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time already. Do you want to get well? he asked. Well, sir, the sick man replied, I don't have anyone to put me in the pool when the water gets stirred up. When, while I'm on my way there, someone else gets in front of me. Get up, said Jesus, pick up your mattress and walk. At once the man was healed. He picked up his mattress and walked. And here is my 60 second sermon based on this verse. Just a few days ago, I learned that something that I had always had a problem with, procrastination, is not just a trait that I have, but a trait that runs through my family. My sister and my mother and I were talking about assignments as we tend to leave things to the last minute. If we can put something we don't want to do off until later, we will. This is partly what I am reminded of when I read this passage about the sick man who has been there for 38 years by the pool. Jesus says, do you want to get well? What is, what is even to say that the pool would have healed him? Was he looking in the right place? Jesus tells him to get up and he is healed. Are we like that sick man, putting off something for a better time? Are we looking in the wrong place to progress? Maybe we can use this time as a chance to set our faith on a path leading us closer to Christ. Amen. I think that was slightly longer than 60 seconds. I think I'm out of practice on that. But today, we will be praying with Christians in Southern Europe and in Scotland and Shetland. We will just take a moment now to remember all of those things that have been happening in those places. Of course, we've got Italy and Spain who've had terrible coronavirus outbreaks and we consider how badly the economy is affected. Today, I read an article about how people were now going hungry in Italy due to the recession. Yes, Lord, help us to remember that Although we may be coping with things, there are a lot of other people out there who are really struggling at the moment. And we pray that they may feel you close and may feel your guiding hand with them through the difficulties. And I'm going to close with a prayer from the prayer handbook. And it's written by our friend, Mark Slaney, who's the district chair for Scotland and Shetland. Let us pray. Good news, God. When you promised Abraham a son in old age, 
Sarah responded to the gospel with laughter. When you promised Moses that you would deliver your people from slavery, he responded to the gospel by asking, who am I and who are you? When you promised Mary a son called Jesus, she responded to the gospel by saying, here I am, the servant of the Lord. When you promise the disciples the coming of your spirits, they responded to the gospel by waiting in prayer. When you promised Paul that your grace was sufficient, he responded to the gospel by finding contentment in weakness and hardship. Good news gospel, make me laugh, make me wonder, make me submit make me wait, make me content, give me new life, give me identity, give me Jesus, give me spirit, give me grace. Amen. If you wish to continue your time of prayer, the lectionary um, booklet for today recommends Singing the Faith number 466, if you fancy, fancy a little sing, which is Have Faith in God My Heart, and today's psalm is Psalm 67. Lord be with you through all that you do today, and I'll see you soon. Bye.